wonderful to have you, Mr. Robert Penchek, here from Olympus. Yeah. Thanks for coming down to Charleston. Fabulous to be here again. I tell you, it's just a beautiful, photogenic city. Having a blast photographing the town. Well, very good. We've, we've definitely had some fun, seen some interesting things. Even so far, got to see some parts of the uh, aircraft carrier Yorktown that most people don't get to see. Yeah. So, Bob, why don't we go ahead and talk about the gear we're going to be using throughout the weekend. Absolutely. I, I see you brought the EM-1 Mark II for this morning. Mark II has been my, my, my mainstay uh, until the X came along. I shoot both uh, really interchangeably. Uh, but still love the Mark II. It's got all the quality of the uh, of the X. Mm -hmm. The X has got those added features which we've been enjoying. The handheld high res. Handheld right, high res, the neutral density, just incredible. And of course, my favorite lens, the 12 to 100 with the Sync IS stabilization, uh, just allows me to capture critically sharp images here at handheld. Right. And uh, the tripod's in the trunk. <laughs> and uh, I'm dying to use it, but it's just the versatility of handheld is so incredible Yes. that uh, we've just been getting a fabulous shot. Oh, exactly. And the image stabilization is wonderful. It, it's funny, this is, again, one of those lenses we talked about that I wanted to hate. Yeah. Because, oh my goodness, it had an f4 aperture instead of a 2.8. Yeah. So I'm a snob. Yeah. Oh, Self-professed yeah. snob. And using this, what's equal to a 24 to 200 millimeter f4, is absolutely adorable. I, it, it's almost like I, I have to really try not or try to get a bad shot. I yeah. really have to work at it yeah, yeah. to screw it up because you know I'm, I'm hand holding when we were shooting in the bow of the aircraft carrier. I'm doing a a handheld high res. And it takes eight, what, eight exposures? You got it. And they're two seconds a piece, eight exposures. I'm hand, I'm hand holding for 16 seconds, and it looks beautiful. It's just fabulous. Incredible that that can be done handheld. And uh, just the technology in the high res handheld, uh, it blows your mind. Oh, yeah. Really yeah, does. I mean, in my bag, I also have a, a Mark II with me as well. Sometimes I'll have the battery grip on, sometimes I'll have it off. It just depends. I happen to love the, the way the feel. Every, all the buttons are exactly the same placement yeah. as I've talked about before. And but, surprisingly, people were concerned about the size, and most people have said it's not as big as I thought it would be. No, no, it's, it's, it's not. Comfortable. Very much so, yeah. very much so. It's actually. And it doesn't matter if you've got big hands or small hands, the ergonomics of it, and you don't even have to think about it. Exactly. I know that this is my aperture as much. I mean, everything is right here. I don't even have to think or look at it. And so many of our customers are concerned about balance, and that's the major thing, too. It just feels good, and it's balanced, yeah. and it flows. It doesn't impede you from your artistic creation. It gets out of the way. It gets out of the way and lets you create, and it delivers. Uh, so, you know, the majority of my work and my passion has been travel photography. I find this particular lens to be very versatile. The fast primes are incredible. Oh, yes. I mean, you're talking black cat at midnight at times, but uh, I love the versatility of the zoom with no sacrifice in quality. It does make the other lenses feel a little bit unloved because it's so easy just to throw on one and leave everything i'm carrying around a backpack and i'm not even getting in there yeah, yeah. which you know I, I have all i have all the lenses i have all the toys and i love it to have the right tool for the right job exactly yeah. and you know when you're in a situation where the 40 150 is appropriate i put it on i leave it on yes and yes exactly another outstanding lens well for motorsports aircraft uh, when we go ahead and do the live steam ups with the trains and stuff. Those birds in flight. Birds in flight, exactly. Because sometimes you, you just have to have that little extra reach, that zoom. And you're basically walking around with an 80 to 300 millimeter 2.8, which is just a delight. It really is. It really well, is. again, Bob, I can't thank you enough for being here in Charleston. My pleasure and your hospitality has oh. been enormous. I really well, appreciate it. Just because I'm an enormous guy. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's all size. No, I'm com I'm com as Larry would say, I'm compensating. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>well, we're spending day three. I've got Bob Penchek here from Olympus. And we're spending day three here at the beautiful Magnolia Plantation and Gardens. And we're having some fun. Bob, you're shooting with? 
I've got the 40 to 150 Pro with the MC14 teleconverter on my EM1 Mark II. Having a great time getting some close-up shots of alligators, and we saw a few birds in flight, and just a fabulous place. A little warm here in Charleston area today, <laughs> but uh, we're sweating it out and having a great time getting some great images. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, and I decided to continue on with the big gun. I'm using the EM1X along with the uh, the 300 f4 pro image stabilized basically gives me about seven stops image stabilization and i also have in my pocket the 1.4 teleconverter as well is what bob has so i can add it to this which gives me an effective focal length of about 840 millimeters so again between the birds the alligators it this lens also makes a fabulous macro lens i'm able to get in tight and up close on a lot of butterflies and other small objects that I don't have to be right on top of, especially alligators, so that helps. So we're gonna continue enjoying. We're gonna go to the bamboo forest. We've got the bridge behind us. We've got so many things to see here. Uh, it's amazing, you could spend a day here and not see it all. Absolutely. But uh, this is day three, and then tomorrow we've just got a half a day where we'll spend downtown. Yeah, and then- historic uh, Charleston, yeah, with a beautiful architecture, which I enjoy so much. Mr. Bob Penchek from Olympus USA, thank you for being here this weekend. My we, pleasure, Stan. It was, it was just a delight uh, taking you around, showing you some other parts of Charleston, and uh, having fun with cameras, lenses, and lots of food. Good food. Nice and warm here in Charleston. We got to some wonderful areas, some exciting things to photograph, and uh, we had some great performance with the cameras for what we wanted to do. Oh, definitely. Now, what if you could pick out one thing that you really enjoyed? I know you mentioned a number of things that you've enjoyed. What would be the one highlight, you think? Well, I think probably the aircraft carrier on the Yorktown did some great low-light imaging down underneath the deck that was really, really fascinating, something uh, out of my comfort zone, mm -hmm. something I don't see every day. I enjoy travel photography, so the variety of situations you run into and just the ability to handhold everything. Images that would have never happened if a tripod were required. Right, and, and the funny thing is you did bring a tripod with on the trip, but it's in your luggage. It, it has never been used since it you've been here. It was not used <laughs> once. And in reviewing my images, I don't regret it one bit. I'm seeing razor sharp images at some fairly slow shutter speeds. Oh yeah, yeah. When, as you were saying, when we were in the uh, the uh, bow of the aircraft carrier inside, where they pull up the anchor chains, uh, huge. But I mean, there was like almost no light in there, and we're we're hand holding at multiple seconds. Yeah, would have been otherwise missed opportunities. Yeah. I mean, how often do you get an exclusive tour like we did in places that not everyone sees? And we were able to photograph it. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, excellent. I, I do wish that we had had a little cooler weather here for you, but at least the hurricanes didn't come through while you were here. Yes. That's a positive. The uh, weather was gorgeous, absolutely. Yeah, and we didn't even get sunburned, which is good, <laughs> which is good. But anyway, uh, I know we're gonna we've got a lot of plans for next year. We've got some great workshops coming up, some wonderful things. We'll have to let everybody, uh, keep everybody posted on that. Absolutely. So... So, look. Yeah, so much potential here in Charleston. I really encourage your viewers to uh, consider visiting this gorgeous town. This is my second visit. Love it here. Love photographing here, and uh, I think it's very worthwhile. Well, excellent. Well, again, Bob, thank you and Olympus for being here, and uh, stay tuned for next time. Stan, thanks so much. My pleasure. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.